Now, th thousands of gay and bisexual men convicted of now abolished sexual offences have been posthumously pardoned. Turing's law is named after Alan Turing, the computer pioneer from Wilmslow, who was convicted of homosexual acts in 1952 and then pardoned in 2013. Eunice Muller reports. World War II codebreaker Alan Turing from Wimslow is credited as being the father of modern computing. But in 1952, he was convicted for gross indecency for a relationship with a 19-year-old man. He later took his own life. Homosexuality was eventually decriminalised in 1967. But his family had to wait until 2013 for a posthumous pardon. The former MP for Manchester Worthington was part of that campaign. The intention was always that this would set a precedent to get a pardon for all the uh, people who've died who were uh, wrongly convicted um, of sexual offences. The enactment of the so-called Alan Turing law will mean around 49,000 men will be cleared of crimes of which they would be innocent today. Statutory pardons will also be given to people who are still living and who apply to have those convictions removed. The Ministry of Justice said today this is a truly momentous day. We can never undo the hurt caused, but we have apologised and taken action to right these wrongs.